for me, uh, for the horses that uh, you know want to get a little cheating in the corner, and either either way, for me, there's two ways for a heel horse to cheat in the corner. One is uh, what we worked on today a little bit is when uh, a younger horse want to get a little strong in the arena, and uh, to me, like like what I did was like when a horse want to get a little strong in the arena, I caught him in the right spot, like right before he could get to the steer and make the turn, I lightly stopped him, backed him up. <clears throat> softly and just kind of let him sit there and lick his lips a little bit and kind of understand that he needs to back off a little bit and then I think that's a big crucial part right there is just being able to do that consistently and at the right timing like timing is everything on that deal right there and like you say then if that doesn't work I think that helps too but I think also need to go back to the machine and you know do the do the drills do the dummy work and uh, that way like a horse don't ever get too uh, too strong just maybe when you do some slow corners you know what i mean just slow the dummy down make the horse read read the dummy and slow down and react to the to the steer and that way he's paying attention a little bit more and then the other way i guess you could say cheating is one that's rating off and the quarter comes just rating off a little bit and that i think that's where the dummy work really comes in i think you can do a lot with through the run too but i think a lot of dummy work gets some real like marty does gets them so patterned and they know their spot. They know where to be. As soon as the quarter comes, they get to their spot. And I think that's where one really helps. And also, I think throwing fast a lot can really get one cheap in the corner and get one tight. I think if you track on them a little bit, maybe rub them on a third or fourth hop and keep them moving through your delivery, I think that'll help them keep wanting to get to their spot. Like Marty does go with all his horses, and they all know their spot. I feel like if you're worse, it's one to cheat. He's either obviously too strong or too tight. And I think... Uh, that's one way to fix it, and especially uh, if I had one like that, I, if I couldn't fix I'd send him to Marty and have him help me with them and get some lessons or something and just see what we could do to figure out figure out a game plan to get the horse, you know, get, get him working again because obviously if he's cheating either way, either breaking off or running through, through the corner, I mean, it's going to be hard to play money when you're like that.